Greetings, Pooh friends. Welcome back to another episode of Leisure Suit Larry. With uh, me, Poofy, and uh, uh, Larry Leffer in the elevator. We are going to the eighth floor. All the way up. I think that's even the top floor of the casino. So, yeah, uh, you better sing a song about an elevator. Uh, do we have songs about elevators? Your breath smells like flower floor sweepings from a rendering plant. Uh, use breath spray. We use breath spray. We <laughs> can we not do that in the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh, do we have... So oh, um, yeah, Aerosmith, Love in an Elevator. Love in an elevator, living it up when I'm going down. Um, but we are going up, living it down when we're going up. <laughs> Something like that. Eighth floor. All right, here we go. Um, get out. Use breath. Spray. Psst, psst. Better now? Ah. Uh, let's let's use it again. Use breath spray. Will it become better? No. Ah. Uh, okay. Um there's someone standing there. Who are you? Look at a woman. Woman single woman oh look at that you look you you're not wearing a bra it's like you can cut glass with those things um talk to woman uh, hiya baby i think i loves you may i help you in some way sir she responds in a pleasant but business-like voice um my name is larry you offer larry leffer Say, Larry, she says with a smile, is that a roll of dimes in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Oh, my. Hey, sweetheart, what's your sign, you ask her? Exit, she replies. Try using it. Oh, my. What's your name, beautiful, you ask? Uh, Faith, she replies. Hmm, unusual name. I'm only in town for one night, uh, you try again. How about we get together when you get off duty? She smiles and says, oh, I would never be unfaithful to my boyfriend. Larry, it seems this one's going to require outside assistance. Oh, dear. You're a man of the world, Larry. Perhaps some sort of medical stimulant would help. Okay. Uh, give Faith the pills, since we picked those up. She takes one look at a bottle of Spanish fly and says, <laughs> I know what Spanish fly is. <laughs> Boy, thanks. How did you know that I love this stuff? She tosses down a couple of pills, then a few more, and finally gulps the whole bottle. Her breathing becomes faster and faster until she begins to pant. Basically, Spanish fly is Viagra for uh, ladies. <clears throat> so. <laughs> um, looks like tonight's your lucky night, Larry. Okay. Excuse me? So long, Fate said. I've got to find my boyfriend before this stuff wears off. No. No. Faye, no! Uh, you know what? It appears Faith is true to her name. Twisting her key in the lock, she disappears down the employee stairs. Let's take a little look around. Since you're no longer staring at Faith's ample weapons, you notice an unlabeled button on her desk. All right. Press the button. The penthouse elevator doors glide open. <gasps> oh! Okay, let's go and enter that then. Uh, love in an elevator. Oh, oh, where are we going now, Larry? Um, inside someone's penthouse, apparently. Uh, can can we? There's something behind this wall. You know what? Let's take a little look around. This is the living room of the hotel's penthouse suite. Obviously, the hotel spared no expense here. There's a fireplace on the wall to the south. No one is here, but you hear a gurgling noise coming from somewhere. A gurgling noise? Okay. 
Uh, what is this? This is someone's uh, bedroom, apparently. The penthouse bedroom is quite deluxe. All right. Uh, I see a door. I wonder where that is. Is that a door to another room? Okay. Uh, is it another room? Look. You found a closet full of uninteresting stuff, plus one inflatable doll. Okay. Pick up doll. Got her. <laughs> uh, walking out of the closet, you come clumsily catch your new friend on a protruding nail. There's a loud flatulent sound and... Go get her, Larry. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! So long baby, you shout. <laughs> the moon lights an expansive rooftop garden with a spa in one corner. You have found the source of the gurgling noise. In the hot tub is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen. Beside her is her towel and swimsuit. You can't believe she doesn't mind your presence here. Uh, no, I can't <laughs> believe that she does. <laughs> Look at woman. Hey, handsome, why don't you slip into the water with me so we can really get to know each other? Uh, no, I want to look at woman, please. Um, okay, well, get naked then, okay. Wasting no time, you hop into the water. Oh, does it feel good. The warm water swirls about you, the bubbles stimulating you nearly as much as the beautiful woman across from you. With the warmth of the water soaking into your body, you become quite relaxed. Can we now look at woman? Oh, you're a delight. Um, turn off bubbles. <laughs> Yeah, that works. Um, all right. Uh, talk to her. Who loves you, baby? She says nothing, but that smile tells you a lot. All right. Um, give her apple. Eve. It's her name is Eve. Eve takes her apple and with a sweet, innocent look, raises it to her mouth. She takes a small bite of it while a sexy smile comes across her face. She winks and lies back in the water, chewing it delicately. Eve gently moves her sensuous tongue around the apple, tiny drops of the apple juice glistening on her lips. She's really turning you on. You had no idea fruit could be so exciting. After finishing the apple, Eve slowly slides out of the hot tub, her steamy naked body glistening in the moonlight. Barely covering her tremendous assets with the towel, she smiles and motions for you to follow her. Oh. You can take a hint. Let's go, baby, you whisper. As you leave the hot tub, Eve speaks at last. Say, Larry, you really are glad to see me. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> are we going to the bedroom? <laughs> we are. <laughs> This is so weird. I just broke into the apartment, uh, blew up that doll, and this is our reward. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Congratulations, Larry. You've done it. You've successfully completed your evening in Sierra World, lost your virginity, and emerged victorious. I did miss a few points, by the way. Of course, your feelings of success are short-lived, since this is where Ken Williams has to... Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Williams. <laughs> uh, he's the creator of the game, by the way. Or at least, um, he's one of the creators of the game. Hi folks, remember coming to this very computer real soon now is the next installment in the saga of Larry Lefter, traveling software salesman. 
I tell you the name now, but we haven't made one up yet. Be sure to pick up a few extra copies, just in case our disk copier is screwed up again. Oh wait, he almost forgets to tell you how well you played. You played okay, I guess. Uh, okay. On behalf of Mark and Sandy, Elle and Marge, Jeff and Chris, Russ and Kim, Larry and Bob, Kenna, Roberta, Bob and Marilyn, and or Bob and Janine, <laughs> what? John and Mary, Bob and Carol, and Ted and Alice, um, Kenna, Roberta up there, th th those are Kenna and Roberta Williams. Um, uh, basically, they own Sierra. Owned Sierra. Thanks for playing! Be sure to tell each and every one of your friends to buy their own personal copy of this game. Love you, baby. Thank you! And this is the end of Leisure Suit Larry. Um, I, I, got, I got kicked back out in my uh, DOS prompt. But yeah, that's it. So, again, thank you very much for joining me on this naughty trip down memory lane. The first game I've ever played, Leisure Suit Larry, the first one. There's also a VGA remake, which I will play in the future. But for now, we are going to do something else, I guess. Not sure what. I'm gonna take a little peek at my backlog and pick another wonderful game for you guys to enjoy and watch. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to tell your parents about me and leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you down in the comments. For now, I, Buffet, salute you.